Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zephyr Sonic, and welcome back to more Pokemon Stadium. So in the last episode, we defeated the Petite Cup Round 2, and now we're going to be taking on the Pika Cup Round 2. A cup tournament opened to the lowest level Pokemon. Strategy is the key here. So, hard, uh, dif more difficult in the first round, and this is the team I would recommend that you go with. Uh, Nidoking, Gengar, Raichu, Ivysaur, Kadabra, and Lapras. Um, now, there's going to be plenty of times where you do not want to register your team, and uh, because there are going to be certain things you can unlock, like the Surfing Pikachu, but of course it has to be your own Pikachu. So, uh, yeah, and I am going to still continue to use raised teams, but this one here is going to be all rentals that I'm going to use. And so, yeah, so that's the team I recommend you go with. And let's get started. On to the round two of the Pika Cup. So, in this first battle, uh, should be really easy. Well, that is, unless he sends in his Scyther. We're gonna go with, uh, Kadabra, Ivysaur, and Lapras. It's underway! Pokémon Tournament Pika Cup! This is a tournament for passionate, young, up-and-coming Pokémon! So yeah, so Venomat, Venonat starts and... just simply Psychic it away. Vigorous attack! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokémon choice! Nothing to it. That was quick! Down already! This is a wild one from the word go! Ah, uh, Butterfree! <sighs> I think I know what's coming. I'm gonna go with uh, Lapras. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Lapras! Okay, double edge. What'll it do? A decent hit! How will this drop affect the outcome? And we'll just go with the uh, ice beam. And it's just, just gonna go for the stun spore. A stun spore Oops, it's paralyzed. Which is no problem, ice beam, and you're down. Ice beam! Super effective! And it's down! There's a difference <clears throat> in the number of reserve Pokemon. And e Ekans. Oh, Ekans. Ekans. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Yeah, it'll probably go the for Rap. Has become one okay, side. Leer. Leer. Its defense is down. Ah! The savage hit. Ho ho ho! HP. Two HP. Yeah, it's just gonna go for the wrap. So, the thing about it in the first gen is that if you switch when you get in through the wrap, is that uh, this matchup has become one -sided. you can switch and reset the battle phase. Now, the other thing the to is Pokemon. that in the first gen, if you use something like Solar Beam, and so you're in that charging phase, and then he uses wrap, you're stuck until you get that attack off. So, Psychic and that finishes Ekans. Boom. So that's battle one. Is it down and out? And there goes the battle! So yeah, nothing much to it. Although, depending on the Pokemon, you could have had it done uh, quicker than I could have done it. Like, shouldn't take you but a minute. Unless it's Scyther, then you could have a little bit of problems. But we're ready to go on to the next battle. Which is against the Lod. And uh, let's see. We are going to go with Raichu, uh, Kadabra, and Gengar. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. All right, Polyrath. Now, I wouldn't expect him, unless he's got Cubone, I wouldn't expect him to switch here. 
Okay, so we need to get this off. Eh, it's not going to hell. Yeah, well, at least he missed. Are they testing each other's strength? So we'll get another chance. Come on, Raichu. There it goes. That's, the weak spot. That's what we gotta do. 11 HP. Alright. There's the attack. Hit the weak spot. And he got a critical on me. Down. <sighs> that didn't take up. Ah, jeez. What will the next Pokemon be? It'll be Kadabra. Oh, it's Kadabra! It has to make up for lost ground. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. A Psychic Blast! Wow, that's an effective hit! So at least they got that finished and off. It's down. Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's War Turtle! How will the type difference affect that? Well, I guess we'll just go with Psychic again. Pretty much, yeah. What's that? Man, so yeah, oh, uh, it's gonna go underground though. So, um, I guess I'll go with the double team. But he hit me anyway. Neither one is conceding an inch. What'll it do? That'll take out War Turtle. Oh, is it down and out? There's and what's his uh last? I've got an evasiveness raise, oh, so that'll help. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. What now? So let's see what we can do here. Severe hit. All right, now let's see if he's gonna be able to hit me. Miss. Double A. All right. Yes, he did hit me. Down to one Pokemon aside. And it's gonna be Gengar. We should be able to finish it off with Nightshade, considering the oh, Nightshade does the amount of uh, hit points as your HP. Now. And is coming right down to the one. his HP is or my HP or my level is 15. I meant it does damage to your level. So it'd be 15 in this case. But we did it, and that's battle too. And we are ready to take on the next battle, number three. And it's the Swimmer. And we are going to be going with Raichu, Gengar, and Lapras. The upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. And so it's going to be Kingler. Now, we can... We can sweep, possibly. But Raichu has to hit. <sighs> Here it comes! Thunder! Miss the target! And yeah, that's not going to help. And then he goes for the Hyper Beam. Hit. In which case, we'll barely what survive. Man, Rachu needs to give it the program. I get tired of these big attacks missing. Just when you think you could sweep and then a thunder misses and... Uh-oh. You're not gonna sweep anymore. And the next is, uh, Seedra. Um, we're gonna go with Lapras here. I want to save Raichu. Oh, it's Lapras! 
What'll it do? It's not very effective. Will this Pokemon swap? I'm gonna go with the uh, bubble beam. What now? It'll take it a little while unless he criticals Lapras, but I'm hoping I get Seedra on his speed just in case. Yeah. Alright, good, good, good. Both Pokemon appear equally fit. So we Ah, switching, interesting. How dare you switch? Oh, it's Dugong! Eh, it's Dugong. It's building energy for the next attack! How will this swap affect the outcome? Oh, he's gonna go for the horn drill. Whoa! Horn drill! Hoo-hoo! Oh, the attack missed! What's that? A decent hit! Well... Both combatants still have plenty of gas left. We are going to go into Gengar. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokémon. Oh, it's Gengar! And Horn Drill should miss. Ah! That had no effect. Because yeah, it's unaffected. Pokemon fight? And I'll go for the Confuse Ray. It's confused. Now hurt yourself. Yes. Whoa! It attacked itself. Fireworks are flying in this battle. And I'm not even going to risk going for the metronome, so I'm just going to go with the Mega Drains. What will it do? Super effective! Yeah, we're going to need a critical to take it out next turn, unless it hurts itself. Well, it doesn't, okay. The savage hit! Neither one is conceding an inch. So let's just keep up with the Mega Drains. And let's see, is it gonna stay in confusion? Okay, yeah, it's not gonna hurt itself. Yeah! Uh -oh, it's Have one hit point. What a furious battle! Well, no problem. Whew! Nightshade! Yeah! It's a hit! Oh! It's down! We can still get that continue. And there's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon! There's nothing left in reserve. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided So, Confuse Ray on the Seedra. We should be faster than Seedra, yes. What's this? It's Confuse! Alright! Whoa! It attacked itself! Now we're Both getting on Pokemon with the program. equally fit. So, mm, kids, keep on the Mega Drains. He is going to need a critical, though, to take out Gengar anyway. And that's his undoing. So we will get a continue here. Well, that is if this takes the rest. Yes, it does. That's Battle 3. And we are ready to go after battle number four. Against the burglar. Ah, oh, the burglar dude. We're gonna be going with Lapras, Kadabra, and Gengar. The crowd's excitement is building. This is round four. So it's gonna be Onyx and... I'm gonna predict a burglar move. And go with Gengar. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Gengar. Yeah, explosion. So good decision. Oh, nothing but air. Nothing but hot air. Wow. 
going down. We might be in for a one-sided affair. All right, who's gonna be the next one? Ah, uh, Doug Trio. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. We'll go with Confuse Ray and why Toxic. Oh, Toxic! Ha <laughs> ha! It didn't work. Back up Confuse Ray. It's Confuse. Now, hopefully, Doug Trio will hurt itself. Are flying in this battle. I'm gonna go in with Lapras now. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Yay, hurt itself. Whoa, it attacked itself. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Now I'd love to get one more. What's well, it gets a toxic, but that's alright. We'll finish off Doug Trio or we should with Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam! Super effective. So yes! And it's down. Doug Trio is like a main threat for him. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Ah, uh, Tentacruel! Oh, well... The remaining Pokemon we're gonna go after the Bubble Beam and hopefully get a speed lower on him. That way, if Lapras does go down, I can use Kadabra. And critical. Alright, come on, Bubble Beam, let's get a speed lower. What will it do? It didn't do yeah, damage. didn't get it. Both Pokemon appear equally fit. <sighs> What's this? It's not very effective. All right, come on, Lapras, get it this time. Because yeah, what we need to lower his speed at all costs. Yes, got him on the speed. Um. Neither one is succeeding an inch. I'm gonna go with Gengar. I'm gonna try to do what I can to get this continue. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Surf, unless he gets a critical, Gengar should be able to take it pretty well. Eh, we might survive one more. So let's get off the Confuse Ray. Now, can we hurt, get it, shoot? Well, Gengar's probably gonna go down, but that's alright. Okay, 5 HP. This matchup has become one-sided. Well, now I'm gonna go into Kadabra. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. I know, it's like, we're taking a lot of risks oh, here. Kadabra. Now, if we here can hurt itself... Alright, we didn't get it. A hit. But that is alright. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Alright, one Psychic might be enough to take it out here. Savage attack. Yeah, definitely. Whew, got out of that. Oh, That's battle four. And there goes the battle! Alrighty, guys, well, let's take on Battle 5. And we are going to be going with, uh, this one's got some pretty good, pretty good ones. We're gonna go with, uh, Raichu, Lapras, and Kadabra. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Begin round 5. Hey, it's gonna be Golduck. We, we, we can get Golduck taken out with a Thunder, I believe, so... We got a hit! Alright! Right, you, I'm proud of you for that. Very proud of you. This is a wild one from the word go! Executor! At level 20. This one looks formidable! Ah... Uh, Get ready for a battle between two Pokemon of different levels. I'm definitely gonna paralyze it. 
Hit you Thunderwave! Oops! Hit Paralyze! And this is going to do quite a lot. Oh, I really got my special. Um. Fireworks are flying in this battle. I guess we'll just have to go for seismic toss and hope for a break or something. What's that? A All right, that's good. That works for me. The There's a big difference in HP. What'll it do? There, it's a hit. I know, Rachu's gonna go down eventually. Like now. How's that? Yeah, it's a hit! Oh! It's down! What will the next Pokemon be? So we'll go in with Lapras and we looking at its oh, current it's HP, Lapras. we might KO it with a nice beam. If we critical Can strategy overcome the level disadvantage, then uh, we'll definitely take it out. So come on, Ice Beam. What's this? That's yeah. Oh, and it just and it still survived Bear even attack. even with that. Wow. Bear hit. Man. It's a head-on collision. Power versus power. That was incredible. It survived a critical hit at Ice Beam. Oh, jeez. Now, let's see who's gonna be the last one. Mickey Dung! Wait, who's my last one? Kadabra. Alright, I'm hoping to get a freeze here, hopefully. All right, well we got a critical. That's good enough for me. So good job, Lapras. Oh, is it down and out? Kadabra will should be able to finish the job here. We're down to one Pokemon aside. So in comes Kadabra. Oh, it's Kadabra. There's just one Pokemon aside and now. And just finish it. The battle is coming right down to the one. Savage attack. Whew. No. So that does it for Battle yeah. 6. Go. Or Battle 5, I mean. And there goes the battle! So, yes! And we are ready to take on Battle 6. Against the Mr. Fixit man who never even appeared in Stadium 2. And we are going to go with uh, Nido King, Kadabra, and Raichu. The field is thinning out. We're into round six. And so it's going to be Electrode. And we'll go with the Earthquake and let's see what he's going to do. Okay, he's going to go with Explosion. Okay. Wow! Go down! We might be in for a one-sided affair. And yeah, and unfortunately, here in the first gen, like you, you, you explode, oh, and you can't get any damage on him, this which is stupid. Formidable. Get ready for a battle between two Pokemon of different levels. So come on, Earthquake. What will it do? A decent hit. Yeah, it did okay, I guess. A psychic blast. I'm gonna paralyze uh, Porygon, though. Oh, it's down. So that means we won't be what seeing Porygon or Charmeleon because his Porygon is level 20. So I'm gonna bring in Raichu and paralyze it, definitely. is a battle between obviously mismatched Pokemon. And I'm probably gonna get paralyzed as well, so... Hit you, Thunderwave! Oops, it's paralyzed! Yeah. 
Pretty much. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Uh uh, okay, we'll go for the thunder. Hopefully we can hit. Come on, Raichu! What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. All right, that's the way to do it. Vigorous attack! A savage hit! Now I just need to get one more thunder the off. The excitement is building over this hot battle. Which should be the end of Porygon. Yes. That's a good hit. And it's down. I was really contemplating about going for Seismic Toss, thinking I was probably going to miss Thunder. One Pokemon left in reserve. And it's going to be Mup. Oh, it's Mup. A great stinking pile of. I think I'm just going to go the with uh, Seismic Pokemon Toss. Two to one. That way, get a little but damage in for uh, Kadabra if I get it. All right, we just need to get uh, shake this off. Okay, we do, and this will set me up for Kadabra. Good hit. This matchup has become one-sided. So it was no problem. I'm set, pretty much. No. Oh, is it down and out? We're down to one Pokemon aside. And so yeah, it's gonna be Kadabra. Oh, it's Kadabra! There's just one Pokemon aside now. And the battle is coming right down to the So yeah, Psychic should take it out. That? And that will be Battle Six! And so we have defeated Mr. Fix. And we are ready to go into the semi-final round with three continues. Against the last. And this battle is probably going to get annoying. Because, yeah, both of her... Gyarados and Arcanine have Dragon Rage. And I'm surprised Nintendo did not ban this move. From this cup, but uh, we're gonna go with Raichu, Lapras, and Kadabra. This is it, the semi-final. No one wants to lose having come this far. And it's going to be Cloyster. And I'm just gonna Thunder Wave. I'm hoping that she she switches, which she does. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. That's gonna be Arcanine. Oh, it's Arcana. Ooh, so, one formidable. got the Thunder Wave. It's you, Thunder Wave. Oops, it's Paralyze. And, being I'm gonna go into Lapras. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Yeah, see, that's the dumb thing about uh, Dragon Rage. Oh, Gyarados is even more annoying because Raichu will not outspeed it. On the now, how will this swap affect the outcome? I'm wondering if she's gonna switch. That's what I want to know. Or she might go for the Dragon Rage. So let's see what happens. Okay, she does not switch, but she's probably gonna go for Dragon Rage. And oh, we're gonna need a critical. There it goes. Severe hit. Yeah, you see how easy that is. <coughs> Sorry about that, my throat. <coughs> now, we if we can get him on a critical here with this bubble beam... We don't get it, but maybe it'll fully get... Ah. So yeah, you see how easy that was. Wow! 
what will the next Pokemon be? I guess it'll be Kadabra to finish off Arcanine. Oh, it's Kadabra! But yeah, they, they weren't playing around with the difficulty, though. They made this... Can strategy overcome the level disadvantage? They made this to where it would be really hard. What'll it do? In the second round, we are not fooling with the difficulty. There, it's a hit! And it's down! Which Pokémon is coming out? Alright, so I know she's got Cloyster. Um, okay, it's gonna be Jinx. Oh, it's Jinx! We're evenly matched at two Pokémon Well, assault. I'm gonna go ahead and get some double teams Final off. Pokémon is backing down! And she, okay, she's just gonna go with the ice beams. Ah! Major death! What a furious battle! And well, let's see what we can do. Uh, come on, miss. Ice beam. Yes, alrighty. That's good. What now? All right, got the critical and the special drop. Pokemon appear equally fit. I think our base speed is tied, cause yeah. Otherwise, then it would be random if the base speed is tied. Got the special again, and uh, let's see what happens. Come on, can we dodge one more? Can we dodge it? No, she got a stinking critical. And, though, this is not good, because, uh, left in, in order for me to win, I'm going to have to pull... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I got Seismic Toss. There's nothing left in reserve. Okay, good. It's one Pokemon against I would think Owie now. gets to go first. Let's the see. No, she gets to go first. There it goes. Oh, great. Oh, 5 HP. Going it's going to come down to the last attack. Raichu's going to have to hit. And this is going to cause my heart to leap because I'm going to wonder if it's going to hit. Oh boy. Come on, Raichu. Yes. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Yes. And it's battle seven. And so after defeating the last in a very, very close battle, which I didn't think I was going to win there for a second because I thought Raichu was going to miss, we made it through and we've got three continues and we're ready to go against the final battle against the Fisher. And we're going with Raichu, Lapras, and Kadabra. This is it, the final battle! Who will bask in the glory of the championship? And it's gonna be Kongaskhan. So, we'll, we'll see how the thunder can do. Here's the first move! And the weak spot! Yes! Just what I was looking for. This is a wild one from the word go. Yeah, you can yeah, you can definitely take them out with a critical hit, which I just did oh, there. And the Ooh, next one, Dragonair. Formidable. Well, at least it wasn't Alakazam. Can strategy overcome the level disadvantage? And yeah, you see it's gonna go for Dragon Rage, but that's alright. A savage hit! Gonna thunder wave it. And this should set things up for Lapras. Yeah, this should this should set set the stage for Lapras. Yeah, and just gonna go with Ice Beam. I could have switched to Lapras there, then since he was gonna go for Ice Beam. What will the next but it's, Pokemon be? It's alright, we can still do this. Oh, 
Oh, it's not her. This is a battle between obviously mismatched Pokemon. And I think we should have it with the Ice Beam. How that? Super effective. Go down. Uh, 8 HP. Yes, but it got it fully paralyzed. paralyzed. on the spot. What a furious battle. So, one more Ice Beam, and that's it for Dragonair. Savage attack. That would hurt. We can still do this. Just gotta get past one more. There's only one I'm kind of hoping it's Machamp. Because due to level restrictions, yeah. Oh, due to level restrictions, he can only use one of his two that the were level 20. Uh, two Alakazam the or Dragonair. Uh, we are just gonna go for the Ice Beam. Uh, Kadabra should be able to come in and finish things off. Low kick. Okay, didn't get a critical. That's all right. The important thing is to get enough damage to get the Kadabra. So yeah, I mean, really, Lapras did what it was supposed to do. So yeah, that's it for Lapras, but that's all right. Because we should more than likely have this battle, unless something stupid happens. Which would be crazy, but the only thing that would be crazy is for Machamp to outspeed my Kadabra, which is no. There's just one Pokemon so. side now. The battle is coming right down to the one. The moment of truth. Psychic! And we should have this! That's the weak spot. Yes we do, and that's it for the round Go two Pika Cup. Down. Pika Cup, round two clear. So we did it! Yes! Now, uh, for the Poke Cup, I think I am going to bring in one or two of my own teams. Or probably just one. But for the Prime Cup, uh, yeah, I definitely want to get the Serving Pikachu, show you guys how to get it. Because it's, uh, you can only do it in the round two Prime Cup to get Surfing Pikachu, and it has to be one of your own. So that's it for the Pika Cup round two. Clear. That was a tough cup. It really was. So, yeah, so we've done it. And we're going to go back into the round two stadium. And so the next cup we're going to be doing is the Poke Cup. Levels 50 to 55. Well, being the Reynolds are all level 50, but I'm probably going to bring in one for my own uh, team or two. So, yeah, so that is going to do it for this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Poke Cup Pokeball in round two. And uh, the comment question for this episode is going to be What is your favorite theme music from any Pokemon game? Like uh, Cynthia's champion music battle theme. Which one is your favorite? Leave it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up like button. And to see more Pokemon Stadium, don't forget to subscribe to the Pokemon Show. The link in the description. And I guess that's it. Until next time, I'm Zephyr Sonic, and I'll catch you guys later.